Well, as the 2012 Independence festivities draw to an end, residents came out in droves to sample some of the country's mouth-watering dishes at the island's annual Independence Food Fair. The tantalizing, delicious dishes were enough to have many residents and visitors journeying to the new food fair site at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium. Larissa Francis tells us more. The aroma could be detected from miles away as many converged at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium to sample the best of what Antigua and Barbuda has to offer. Dukanan saltfish, pepper pot, chacha dumpling, lobster, conch water, shellfish, crab and a variety of local drinks, just the name of few, were all in abundance at the fair. Chairperson of the Independence Food Fair Committee, Beverly Allen, says the event was well organized and the decision to move the activities to the stadium was a good one. So far, everything is going smoothly. We have placed over 100 vendors here and um, I noticed this morning after the Independence Parade, we had quite a number of families coming over for breakfast and of course, Vendors are now preparing for lunch and dinner. So um, we're expecting all individuals to do as I normally do, or normally say, turn down the pots and the pans and come up to the Sir Vivian Richard Stadium for any kind of food you're looking for. Alan says the family atmosphere even caters to children as they now have a play area with bounce castles and various toys for their interest. Vendors and patrons at the Sovivianja Stadium gave their views on the new venue. This movie started in 1966 with six of us and it has grown over the years. When I left it was about 40 something and then it still move up, move up. Now we have 100 and something booths and you know people felt it was getting too close. The policemen complain and the fire department and stuff. Okay, in a reason we would say you'd like getting closeness together then, but look. So now it is very, very good, and I love that it has moved up. It's, a, it's about time. I think it's a good move. I think the space is better. People can move around a little more, and you feel a little more free. Not that independent drive was not a good place, but I think after a while, because it grew, we can all do the space. But I think it's a good issue. I feel elated for having moved from Independence Avenue. It gives us more room. It gives us the ability to eat, you want to spin it? go and have a seat in the stand, come back, shop some more, go and eat again and come back. And then in the event we have a show or two, you know, we're well covered in terms of the um, paved area. I feel the move is a great move. It's one of the best decisions the community could ever make. Because in, in terms of space, and the environment is, you know, I believe it's more safer, it's not public into the road that we can control our children better. And I think it's an area where people feel more relaxed. Well, one of the, the major concerns is the whole aspect of um, costing because it would put persons who live on the southern side of the island, in particular those close to the city who would normally just take a casual walk in or those who would catch a bus from, let's say, Old Road to the uh, West Bus Station and then walk up to the Independence Drive. You now they have to look in terms of getting transport to come up all the way up here. But being on the ground here, what I notice is that it is well laid out. Uh, we have a lot more stars. Um, and I mean, it's early at this stage, though, and we see a number of persons milling around. Uh, so I would want us to wait until at the end of it, do the post-mortem and see in terms of whether or not it is a good move. And then we can, at, at least if we have to go back to Independence Drive next year. But I think sometimes one of the things that we don't accept is changes, but sometimes changes could be for the better. Louisa Francis reporting for ABS News.